Hello and welcome to Mind and Money Show, where we talk all things mindset, money management and our entrepreneurial journey. Along the way, we're going to throw in some amazing guests for good measure. I'm Shane Highland. I'm Gareth Shears. This show is going to change your life and teach you skills that school never taught you. Boom. Right, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to cover what happens to my assets if I don't make a will. Well, actually, a will has been made for you by the government. Thank you, government. It's called the rules of intestacy, but they're not all good. So watch as we show you this. So let's look at this little flow chart that we've put together with regards to the rules of intestacy. Now, this is how this actually might affect you and your family. Firstly, are you married or in a civil partnership? So if we answered yes to that, the next question is going to be, do you have any children? Now, if the answer is no, your spouse or civil partner will receive everything. If the answer is yes... Your spouse or civil partner will receive personal possessions, so watches, jewellery, etc. The first 270000 together with interest on the amount from the date of death, and the other and one half of anything that remains. Now, children then will receive the other half of anything that remains. Now, if they're under the age of 18, that'll go into trust for them. Now, let's go back to the start then. So... If your answer is to are you married or in civil partnership, no. The next question for you is going to be, do you have any children? If the answer is yes, everything is shared equally between your children. Bear in mind the term children does include illegitimate and adopted children, but not stepchildren. If the answer is no, the next one is, then do you have any living parents? If the answer to the yes is, everything is shared equally between your parents. Now, if the answer to having parents is no, do you have any siblings? The answer, if you answered yes to that, everything is shared equally between your full siblings. If there's no full siblings, then equally between any half siblings. Now, if you answer no to how many siblings, then do you have any living grandparents? Is the next one. If the answer is yes, everything is shared equally between your grandparents. Now, if there's no grandparents, the next one is do you have any aunts or uncles? Now, the answer is yes, everything is shared equally between your full aunts and uncles, and if there's no full aunts or uncles, then equally between your half aunts and uncles. Now, if your answer all the way down that side of are you married or in a civil partnership being no to having children, no to having any living parents, no to having any siblings, no to having any living grandparents, and no to any aunts or uncles, then everything sadly passes to the crown and to nobody else. So that is the rules of intestacy. So what happens there is if you do not make a will and you die, these rules will kick in. Now, you've probably looked at these and thought, well, actually, that's not how I would like my estate passed out if I were to pass away. Well, if that is the case, then you need to make sure you make a living will to ensure that you have a will in place which directs you exactly where they're going. Now, bear in mind, this doesn't take into account things like what would happen to your children if you were to pass away and you were the only guardians of the children. Well, without a will, social services would make that decision on your behalf. Now, that might be, again, like these rules, not be who you want them to look after your children. If social services don't feel that anyone in your family should be looking after your children, they will decide whether you're looked at, whether you're going to foster care or care in whichever way. So by writing a will, you can direct where your assets go and also what happens to your kids if the worst case scenario happens. I hope that was of use to you. Thanks for watching. What I'd love you to do now is like and subscribe. Thanks for listening. And if you enjoyed this episode, then please subscribe 
And remember to follow us on social media for more content like this. Thank you.